Welcome back to Awesome Possible Hobbies and Games, and then we're playing some Magic Arena today with Midweek Magic Brawl Showcase. Let's check out the decks and get some games in. The choices are brains. Going to be a zombie deck, collateral damage, which is red black direct damage as well as some creature removal flashy flyers with white blue lightly armored with white green and smashing stampede with red green i've always been a zombie fan so let's check out that deck quick view of the deck it's going to be a gissa and draw deck which you know when it when it enters the battlefield, you get to mill four cards, and once during each of your turns, you may cast zombie creatures from your graveyard, which is fantastic. You know, once you're able to get some zombies in your graveyard, you're able to get some card advantage by recasting them over and over again. And the rest of the deck is lots of different zombies. Like the Fleshbag Marauder, if you're able to get to cast this two or three times, you're going to be getting some card advantage. And then, you know, followed up with Nefari, Betrayer, King, other snow and zombie creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and you get to be able to buy it from your graveyard for just three snow mana, which most of your 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 uh, lands in your deck are going to be snow lands, so it's easy to get recast. And then, you know, at the very top of the curve, you got blood uh, blood on the snow. Strail creatures, straw plays walker, then return a creature or plays walker with mana value x or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where x is the amount of snow mana spent to cast this spell fantastic value let's look at the next deck collateral damage this deck is a Judith the scourge diva which other creatures you control get a plus one, plus zero whenever a non-token creature you control dies. Judith, the Scourge Diva, deals one damage to any target. So this deck is all about having creatures go to the graveyard and then, of course, doing the extra points of damage. Lots and lots of removal in this deck, such, such as, you know, basic Lightning Strike all the way up to Black Sun Twilight. And when you keep looking further down the curve, you're looking at cards that reward you for putting creatures in the graveyard, for killing creatures, um, so, such as Sir Conrad the Grim. Let's go ahead and look at another deck. Fleshy Flyers. Fleshy Flyers is Errant and uh, Giada. Uh, for one blue, one white, one colorless. For two, three, Flying Flash. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast spells with Flash or Flying from the top of your library. Guess what? This deck is all about flying. Such as Cloud Blazer, one blue, one white, three colorless creature, human scout, two, two flying one airs of battlefield to get gain two life and draw two cards. Fantastic card value. And then at the very top of the curve, Angel of the Dire Hour, two white, five colorless, five, four flying flash. And when it enters the battlefield, you can cast it from your hand, exile other all attacking creatures. Great for defense. And as you can guess, there's a ton of flying and a ton of flash in that deck. Lightly Armored is the, the fourth deck on the list. Let's take a look at it. Danetha Nubin and Benelia's Light for one white, one green, one colorless, two, two, Vigilance tra Trample Lifelink. It's a legendary uh, human knight. And once during each of your turns, you may cast an aura or equipment spell from your graveyard. Man, auras that just keep coming back is fantastic. Especially when you're looking at some of uh, some of them, such as Historian's Wisdom. Historian's Wisdom doesn't seem like it's a fantastic card right off the top, but was in conjunction with Dynathia. Uh, it's one green, two colorless. Enchanted creature, when Historian's Wisdom enters the battle, if Enchanted Permanent is a creature with greatest power among creatures in control, you get to draw a card. All as long as the turn permanent is a creature, it gets plus two, plus one. So you get to get some card draw, get some card advantage. But when you're going up against some of these decks, such as the red, red green deck or red, uh, red black deck, there's going to be a lot of removal and being able to get card advantage is going to be key to be able to beat those type of decks. Lastly, Smashing Stampede. 
Let's take a look at it. Smashy Stampede is Sam Vizier of Nakatamon. You know, say that three times fast. One, one green, one red, one colorless, two, three, first strike, vigilance, haste. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, if this creature enters the battlefield this turn, draw a card. Guess what? This deck is all about haste. And, that, you know, an example of that is uh, Rubble Belt Rioters. One green, one red, one colorless. Zero four. When it attacks, gets plus X plus zero. Where X is the greatest power one creatures you control. And guess what? This deck has lots of power, especially when you consider having cards like Shivan Devastator for one red X colorless, zero zero flying haste. Shivan Devastator enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. When you have a lot of mana in play, this guy is going to be a big beat, and it, other creatures feed off of, such as Raging Registrar. When it attacks, it deals one damage to any target, so you can include your own creatures in that. You know, sometimes that might help sometimes doing one damage to one of their blockers will make them rethink what they're going to be doing or you can just do swans for the, to the face to, for that to be five damage there's so many great cards in this deck i cannot wait to try any of them but of course let's go ahead and try a lightly armored let's see how this does i know zombies are my favorite but after looking at it I'm a big fan of Lightly Armored. There's some life gain in here. All about it. Get a forest. Evolving Wilds, Terramorphic, Terramorphic Expanse. Great cards. Just guys, Joey Moss. He loves that. Let's get white. Let's play Salmon. Dark Lord. Let's play Dark Lord. We having fun today. Forests. Look at that. All these mana sources for me. So let's go ahead and should have played Mindstone first. Big mistake. Huge mistake. One, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. I cost seven. If I draw a land, I could drop the Valkyrie Sword with the ex extra five to make a six five Vigilance Fine. Nice. No. Sometimes the auto tap feature on this is just junk. It's just junk. I think the red got one, three. There's one card to be able to kill him. We'll see. Guess the salmon. Slow and steady. Got two mana left. What are you going to do with it?
attacking with seventh? I don't know. Nope. Okay, let's go ahead and get some heavy hits into play this turn. So let's mind stone. That was the wrong call. Wrong lands. cycle. I'll go ahead and cycle my Mind Stone. Get in there for eight. Big damage. Seven damage would be hard for to deal with out of that deck. Seven toughness, I should say. Whatever I do, I can't block though. Don't want to take the chance of losing a heavy fly, heavy hitting flyer. Three, two, haste, cascade, swift boots, nice. So it's not really necessary. Only one. What are you gonna do with the with two mana? Got something that costs two mana? Got a pump? You get in for the attack. Go ahead and block. They land. Arcane Signet. Attack for uh, for twelve. That's a big beater. Vigilance trap, life link. So big, so good. Let's see if that's game, Dark Lord. Flying haste. It'll be a blocker. Attack for four. You can draw a card. <laughs> I think I'll just keep it. Won't make a difference. The big beat says for trample. Zephyr boots. Let's just get in there with everything. Just to be safe. Chop block with against the uh, trample guy. Big win. It's a good win. Not bad. Let's play again. And the prize. Now our set. Enlightened Exile. It's a good card. Creatures you have, uh, you control half uh, prowess whenever Narset Enlightened Exile attacks. Exile target non creature, non land card with mana value less than or equal than Narset's power from a graveyard and copy it. You may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Wow, that's a lot of text to just say it's awesome. It's <laughs> a lot of text. I'm out here in uh, beautiful Denver, Colorado, and it is getting ready to snow. It's we've had a 
about 40 degree drop in the last uh, 24 hours, last 18 hours. That's a keeper. Blossoming Sands. Lots of choices. Let's go ahead and mulch as a sorcery. land into play in, into my hand come to play on tap next turn oh, it's got all kinds of choices this turn flying or flash Let's see if they wait for the flash they do let's go ahead fortify I'll show my planes because it's, it's oh so threatening and then Try to get cast a creature, see if they counter. Since they did keep the mana available for a counter spell. Survey says. Jundai! It's gonna play there. This guy a knight. He is a knight. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. And attack for, th uh, for two. Flying. Can't block. My turn. Radiant Grove. Four mana. Uh, let's go ahead and get in there. Three damage. They've already gained three life, so it's kind of rough. Get my commander in play. Commander has got that life link, which might be able to help me get out of this uh, difficulty. We'll see. Opponent's thinking. I'm sure, they're gonna play a nice flying creature this turn because that's what that deck does. Let's figure out what they want to do before they announce their attack. Hit me for our four plus. There we go. Chain creature. 3 4. Lifelink. Not bad. And they get to draw a card. And they're holding back their commander just in case I don't do anything to my Denathi. It's got something going on. Something up their sleeve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They got lots of cards. So, let's go ahead, do that, and then support two. Here support's pretty good on a live linker. Oh, I should have done both. I didn't realize I could do both. That's what happens if you don't play enough magic. You, you miss some of the the easy things. Scrapple with the past. Need to get a land. Get another forest. And attack for 
Three flying. Game three. I don't play enough Brawl. Brawl's a fun format. Problem with Brawl is it's uh it's on a uh, arena. <laughs> it's on arena. Arena's got some crazy cards in it. Go ahead and take the action, put it in the command zone. They're gonna attack me for two flying. Battlefield tap. Let's get some mana next turn. I was gonna play a creature spell or play a spell my turn. Continue attacking. It's time for four with the acclaimed commander. Nice. Can they target the wake with that artifact or creature? Ooh, the big flyer! Flyer Dombringer. And a small pirate. Down to 14. What will I be able to do? I got all this mana and not much to do. Life Link Trample. Too bad, it's just gonna. some choices for them to deal with at least. Zephyr Boots. Lyra Dawnbringer. Got to sit there on my hands this turn. Cause Lyra, uh, Lyra's got that first strike. commander again. I'll take the action. Put it back in my hand. It's, it's getting expensive at seven, but the wick makes things a lot easier. My opponent has all kinds of flyers. Not being able to block flyers is going to be rough. Just for five, no blocks. I'll take it this time. Mindstone. See if I can get the power suit. Yep. Six five. Still not gonna be able to deal with the. Try and keep this guy attractive. Oh, it's gonna be game.
Yeah, they have uh, enough flyers to be able to get through next turn. I have one one defender. They have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just enough. I have one flying defender. Not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Mastery time. Close. So close. So close to finishing off the mastery. I haven't uh, tried for a mastery in a long time. Got two more levels to go in five days. Since I have a magic plan, I plan on playing it tomorrow. I think uh, I'm in good shape. We'll see. We'll see. New sets coming out Friday. I have uh, two videos scheduled for Friday that I have to take. I have to video it and publish it. It's a lot of work ahead of me. A lot of work ahead on Friday. Thriving Heath. Not a bad first turn. Keep. Bonds of Fate is a good card. Comes to play. Thriving Heath, choose a green. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking play. Draw land. Opponent's playing uh, the zombie deck. I think the zombie deck is probably the worst of the, the five choices. You never know. That fumigate is gorgeous. Gorgeous! Jarlf. Zombies have flying. It's going to make for a very short game if I can't get a... Take action. Forests. No attacks. One fork, just block. Another three damage. Guy can keep that guy in tap, man. Sack it. Five, five, and trample. Big proportions. I could play it. I really want to get board state right now. Onto fate. Onto the human. Five five. Let's go ahead and do one attack fix. My opponent concedes. Five five is uh, strong. Especially with opponent having no black mana. Would have been for, made for a very uh, sad game. Let's go on to another game. What surprise? Didn't show. I guess I didn't get a prize. Rena, you're finicky like that sometimes. Want to make sure I know. Don't get anything fun. I have about 30 planned videos right now over the next seven weeks, eight weeks. Hope you guys stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun playing against a point named Ripples. Hope you guys are doing, hope Ripples, you're doing well today. Got all kinds of fun non creatures in my hand. This, this game is going to be an uphill battle if I don't draw a land. Gold vein pick. Gold vein pick is an amazing card. Why, of course, I'll take the action. And uh, I 
Got a one, two. Get my treasure token. End of turn. Golden Pecos is gonna have to do some work this game. They got their commander in play. Decker one flying. Choose green. Mm, choices, choices, choices. Let's go ahead and. Get in there. Jump block for five? Or they want to take five? I right, take the five. Ripples, good choice. I will ossification. Using my two freebies. Make them cast their commander again for five. Just feeding the nettle crisp. Cause this It's a big guy. It's a really big guy. Two two flyer. Turn target creature to its owner's hands. Lots of choices now. Audacity. So I want to die. Equip. Dungeon Geist. Let's go ahead and, uh, Divine Reckoning. Keep the Geist. And I will uh, play Zephyr Boots. Next turn will be nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Two, three. Gain two life and scry two. Two to the bottom. Attack for two. Three. Got all kinds of choices this turn. First thing I do is cast transformation. Play land. Get a life. Getting creature. Take the action. And then attaching. Well, it's got all kinds of stuff to do this turn. Because they got six mana. And they want to play some car play cards or draw cards and uh, returning things to hands. It's always good. Nice. Guys, go back to hand. No. Best choice. Draw a card. I'm choosing the Geist, but that's just me. All kinds of stuff. Get Shram in play. Need to draw some cards. Draw some lands, which is always helpful. Next, attack. 
See if they want to throw someone to die. Nope. You're going to give me a treasure. And for Meriden! I'm a big fan of the For the Mirrodin cards. Being able to generate a creature token. You're gonna play their second spell for the turn. Flashing the Cloudkins here to draw an extra card. Nice card to do. Opponent is continuing to expand the in play. Well, my Divine Reckoning is just going to sit there while they continue playing two cards a turn. Fumigate. Now I have choices. Choices, choices, choices. Let's... Hmm. Power suit. Uh, not yet. I got three, four, five mana. Yeah, power suit to uh, six, four. I know, I know, I know. Skip flying. And let's go overboard. I really want them to block that card. Attack for eight. Jump block. Gives me eight life, back up to 26. That gives me a little bit more wiggle room before I have to either choose to Fumigate or De Divine Reckoning. Gives me a chance, ooh, seal away. Nice, nice. Fortunately, most of those are going to be uh, equipments. I'll pay that too. Easy money for that. And I've got lots of mana to be able to do that with. They really want me to sweep the board, don't they? Yeah, Fumigate's looking more and more attractive. So I'm gonna be able to refill my hand. What are they gonna do? Attack for zero flying. Nice, wrong one. Oh. oh so many choices. Go ahead and make sure I'm a little bit better. And then Divine Reckoning. Shram's gonna stick around. attack. Trash. 
try and draw into that Miri's wake, because that will make life a lot easier. Because then Tram will just take over. Oh, wait, dragon. Fortunately, that doesn't do anything at Tram. Tram's just bonkers. Luigi. Luigi. There you go. Smart. Gain two life. Scry two. Fix your hand. Publish Mystic. Nice. Mm, that fumigate is looking mighty, mighty tasty right now. No more bouncing. I'm done with that. Land. Then uh, power suit on top of... Uh, Shram. Shram's going to be big when it gets to attack next turn. And I got a discard. This card's pretty cool. She got rid of the vessel of nascency, but yeah. Shram's got to be doing some work next turn unless they have a, a way of getting rid of him. After arrest. Nice. Ouch. I'll take four. Five, six, seven? Oh. So many choices right now. Punt has a huge hand. Let's go ahead and power suit. Pick five. Next to combat. Let's go ahead and get in there for five. Chop block. Double block, double block, triple block. He's afraid I have something cool in my hand. Uh, that's the order. Oh yeah, that can go to the command zone. And uh, like seven seven, and like seven seven eight eight. It's all about the board state right now. Puts out of three cards in hand. One's a lance. He's looking at that eight, eight going, where'd that come from? Nice. Angel. Angels are big.
don't think I have more lands than they do. The other creature. Casting spells right from top of their deck. It's nice. Play land. Power suit this guy. Let's pick him. Attack for eight. Little chump block. Just enough where I don't really want to cast that fumigate afterwards for. But I have first strike, so. Won't kill me. That was a little mistake there on their side. Uh, nope, cancel. I want to cast the uh, Rune of Might. And a turn. Top card is nice. Yeah, that guy isn't that cool anymore. Lyra! Their own Lyra. Not as cool as my Lyra, but you know, it's still cool. Gaining some life is important. And two line left. Play a tap land. Their Lyra is quite beefy now. I need to do something about that. Flying, trample, all kinds of goodies. Um, Target of two creatures. Why, why, yes, that guy would be bigger. Wayfinder. Big whiff. Claimed. Get the hope. And then, now that I've got control of the board, let's go ahead and just attack for 11. 11 of them for straight trample ward. They're just going to take it. There's battlefield. You may put an aura or equipment card from your hand on the battlefield attached. It's not going to happen. I'm gonna draw a card. Yep. That land. I'm sure it's a land. Mole Drifter. Nice. Mistake on my side. Because now they're just gonna blink their. Wisp Weaver Angel. You're going to be bouncing and playing all kinds of stuff. Good stuff. Draw two cards. They have four mana left.
opponent has board presence for sure. Cards left in their deck. 56. I got 51. Ly Lyra Dawnbringer is going to get extra special. Hideout. Getting that planes action. It's time the vessel. What a 2020 first strike. 21 21. My bad. All kinds of stuff's gonna happen if it gets any damage through. Opponent's gotta block at least seven damage worth. There's three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, yeah, let's block like such. Take him down to three. I'll be at 71. 142. And uh, let's go ahead and attach that out of pay. Opponent's still not giving up. Hoping to draw, I'm sure they're hoping to draw into something that will uh, board sweep or take care of the, the Lyra Dawnbringer. Restoration Angel. It's good. Scrying too. Exile their own thing. Put it back in play. Lyra! Five, five. First strike. Lifelink. Survey says so they got something for Lyra? Cameo's completion would be great on Lyra. Opponent is seeing what they can do with four mana. Destroying target enchantments. Making me play it again this turn. All kinds of stuff on Lyra. Let's see here. We can uh, mask it. Masking will make it huge. 36, 36, play land. Next, getting in there. That should be game. With the trample, let's say got some kind of flash card. That's game, Ripples concedes. That's game three. Not bad. Yeah, the Slesnia deck is definitely something that works well. You can stack cards, it's got some re good removal in it. And card style for Elish Noir and Mother of Machines. Cool. Thanks for watching today. Hope you all had fun watching Brawl Showcase Midweek Magic. I like the Windows Midweek Magic because they let us see what else is out there and something that we don't normally would play. So again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, keep them rolling.
and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated. Have a great day and keep them rolling.